So one of the things that we often get questions about is, do you use a muzzle brake? And the answer is no, I hate muzzle brakes. And I understand that some people like them, but I hate them. I hate them at the range, I hate them out hunting. And the reason people usually have a muzzle brake is to control recoil. Well, here Matthew and I have two different rifles. He prefers a 300 Win Mag, I prefer a 308. You can put the same 180 grain bullet in either cartridge. Both work great. Matthew manages the recoil on the 300 Win Mag by having a heavier rifle, heavier stock, a little bit bigger scope, and a bipod. Me, I'm hiking in the mountains. I'm doing a lot of miles in a day. I want the lightest weight rig possible. If you put this 300 Win Mag on a rifle that starts out without scope, just starts out empty at about five pounds, 10 ounces, that'd knock your teeth out. I don't need that. I don't want that. And I refuse to break a rifle. When, I, when anyone puts a muzzle brake on a rifle, all you have to do is go and stand beside it and you understand why I don't like muscle brakes. My theory, and this is just a basic rule that I go by, is if you have to break your hunting rifle with a muzzle brake, odds are you probably haven't managed recoil enough or maybe you're one of the people who, nothing wrong with it, a lot of people are sensitive to recoil. But step down to maybe a little bit smaller caliber uh, cartridge. You can, in every caliber, 30 caliber, 284, 270, whatever, 7mm, 6.5, you can usually step down to a, a softer cartridge, a cartridge that'll shoot the same bullet without nearly as much recoil. The general idea is that the more recoil the round has that you're shooting, you can compensate a little bit for that by having a heavier rifle. So some of the rifles we were shooting today were a 308, we have a 300, we have a 6.5 Creedmoor, this is a much heavier rifle than the other two, and that helps control the recoil a lot. If I was trying to shoot a, this 300 Win Mag on one of the much lighter platforms like the other rifles are on, I'm not sure I would be able to handle that recoil. And people can see that even with a bipod, there's enough weight on this rifle. It's not unmanageable. We've hauled this up and down mountains chasing elk before. But even with a bipod, you don't have to worry about all this supposed all muzzle lift and everything else if you don't break it. Matthew will shoot this by having barely one hand on the forearm, absorbing the recoil with your body, and deadly accurate. So don't feel that you gotta get a muzzle break. If you need a muzzle break, rethink your choice of cartridge and maybe go down a notch and get something that you can manage the recoil without a muzzle break. Save your ears, save the ears of those around you. Thanks for watching.